Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to, what's the temp? A 50 degree of uh, May the 4th. And today is a Thursday. Last night, starting, oh, it's probably around 9, maybe it was around 10. Crazy thunderstorm. It was insane. Boom, crash, banger. And uh, they start pouring down rain. Wake up this morning, and I'm like, what in the world? It's sleeting, like big sleet, just pounding on the roof. Then, so I'm, I go in the bathroom, you know, your morning ritual, and I'm standing there, and all of a sudden, I see a big flash through the window. Then, boom, thunder crash, another thunderstorm for about 20 minutes came through. A loud cracker. That's unusual for around here, but uh, very interesting. Love to see it. Reminds me of being a young lad living in the south. But check this out. I was just noticing as I'm coming out here. Look at our little bistro table area. She's about to be my nice little nook once again. Look how far. Four inches easy. Easy four inches. In just over three days. Boy, that grass is some kind of angry this time of year. They're going, well, we're ready to get the spring going on too, so look out. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Thursday. Mama, look yeah. at them daggum pine trees. I know it is. I'm telling you. It's like you see it. God, just that. Oh, after a rain, that fresh air. Holy yeah. moly. <laughs> oh, I felt that little bug coming on. I know, on. I got fever. <laughs> Let's roll, Mama. All right. Mama? Yes. I wouldn't focus. I'd like to focus on the rain. Uh, yeah, of course. Camera says I see a lot of that. That's what I want to pay I attention know. to. I like all these little dots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not so pretty today. No, it is not. Not so right. warm either. No. Yeah, 51 degrees here in Vancouver. Yeah, I got three layers. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if they had thunderstorms and stuff here last night. I'm sure they did. Yeah. That was cool. You never get that thunder in my yeah. here. Yeah, I got two of them. One mm -hmm. last night and another one this morning. Yeah, that was way cool. Well, sleep like mixed in here. Sound like rocks falling from I the know, sky. That's crazy. <laughs> well, Mama. Yes, huh? Let's start off a Thursday. All righty. Get out there and get her done. Sounds like a plan. All right. I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. All right. Love to see you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. Check it out. 2020 chalk. Uh, RT Limited, just like the one Kelly and I had. And see, no, this is a, no, it's a dark edition. Chrome thing on the bag had me thinking for a second there. But look, our first, these were on back order until the first of this month. We received seven of them today. So all these, all the 2020s and the early model then check has to be done. Uh, early 21s get the updated switch. You can tell by the really fine threads. The ones, the old ones had really coarse threads. So, and this is that spring that goes on and it assists the uh, breaking. I'll show you when it's, when it's together, but, um, but there's a new, a new procedure for setting the uh, the switch. Little details there that I was doing. The other one just got the spring added to it. The 21 late models and newer just get the spring. And the Rikers kind of have the same thing. It's the same switch. It's Rikers and Spiders same, share the same switch. And you see the four wires is two red, two black. It almost looks like there's a redundancy here. It's just a manufacturer using their colors, but uh, it's it's a two it's two switches in one. It's a it's a brake light switch, and then if you lose brake fluid and your pedal goes too far, it pulls the switch out and uh, sets off a second switch, and that's the low brake fluid switch. So what's kind of scary is they set the appointment for her to bring this thing down here, and she's got a. A VSS code and a fault code, and it goes in limp mode. The only, I mean, literally, the only thing that happens to these 2020 newers is that switch. 
That's the only thing you ever come in for a code for. We had one little weird thing with a windshield module thing. The park brake module is also a, a part of that. There's in that little computer, there's something that has to do with the shifting as well. But, um, and we had that one. Other than that, it's just brake light switches. So what she explained, fault codes, VSS codes, limp mode, everything about that screams a switch. So they set her up with an appointment down here to wait. She's from way up north on this pouring down, sketchy, thunder and lightning day. And all signs say it's a switch and we don't have the switches. Luckily, very luckily for us, we'd have one pissed off customer. The switches showed up this morning. So yeah, by pure luck. And they made that appointment. Nobody just, you got to do your homework. When you're setting these people up, you just, we used to have a, uh, we had a call center for the automobiles that used to set up our appointments. And they would do that type of stuff to us. You can't set an appointment. We don't have parts to fix it. So the bike's down here. It's not safe. It wasn't even safe for her to drive this thing down here. It goes in the limp mode. It's almost all freeway from way up there to here. Dude. It's bad enough when a dry, sunny day for your bike to go in a limp mode when everybody's going 80, 90 miles an hour down the freeway and you're going 50 down the shoulder. Pretty sketchy. But anyway, let's look at it. Somebody higher power is looking over all of us here because this wouldn't have ended well. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. It's good to switch on it, get her going back home. That's the coarse threads I'm telling you about. These are the fine threads. Out with the old, in with the new. So what you have to do is you take this back nut and you turn it tight. So in other words, the switch is gonna move outward. So you turn it in just back this stuff off of the way, out of the way so you got room. Turn it until the brake lights come on. Then go exactly one and a half turns back or loosen. And then don't let anything move and tighten the jam nut on the other side. Then you add the spring to it. So it's got this spring. This is just an addition. And it's as cheesy as it seems, it's, it's quite strong. It's a good job. So it's just ensuring that any slack in that thing that it pulls it back. Just as simple as that. But you need to have this new improved better weather sealing switch on there if you got one of the older ones. And this is only for um for the switch. It's twenty twenties and early twenty ones. Go by the VIN number. Just because you have one of those doesn't mean yours applies. Call your dealer, run your VIN, or you can actually run it on, because it's a recall, you can run it on their website and see if yours applies. Pretty straightforward. Other than having to take all the body work off. That kind of, kind of a bummer. But, uh, yeah, easy peasy. And it pays enough time to do it. I love it. Good times, man. So, I told you guys... I come up with a workaround on the dig and um, shift servo. This is a oh, I got garbage in the way everywhere. You got the pardon. Things are a mess when you. Who is that? Is that Leo? Leo gobbling water over there. There's a call. I got to take the transmission apart and take this collar out of here because this shift arm's locked. The dig arm's moving back and forth. But um, anyway, I'm purposely leaving this thing on to make sure that when it's in its neutral position, the servo's not getting hot. Um, where I've got, here's the, where is this is the stock Spectrum servo that it comes with, with the servo saver on it. What is it? It's like a shock absorber in there. I don't know if I can make it move without the... Yeah, it just makes the whole thing turn. But anyway, it's got a cam in there. You can see the spring at the top. 
That's just a, supposed to be a servo saver, but apparently it's not working. You see them, it smokes the bottom out of these things. You see the innards hanging out down there. But anyway, that's the stock one. And this is, so I was kind of debating back and forth over the, between the Enjora one, which I don't know what I've done with it. What's it right here? The Enjora one, which I was saying some negative things the other day about them, but this is definitely a superior servo to that one. But I was able to make this one, this one work a lot easier. This one's 4.5 kilograms. This one's 7 kilograms. So if something went wrong, this could probably damage something. <laughs> It don't, doesn't take much to shift these things. So I'll save those. Um, and Jura, I got two of them. They're in a box over there. But, um, so, the next servo will go in bottom first down into this hole where this one's laying sideways. It'll go down and the servo arm will be going like this. So, seen ways to rig that thing up using an aftermarket um a non-proprietary <laughs> um servo in there so i got my endpoints on this one dialed so it, it just clicks right along so you can see it's in regular drive mode that's dig and see how it, these are locked so what it does it releases the power going to the back wheel so the powertrain's not connected to the rear drive shaft and it locks it so it's locked and uh that's what that's what creates the dig these things for whatever reason you gotta if you watch it goes to dig then you go back it hangs a little bit so you gotta back them up just a notch it's just something they do with the stock servo it doesn't matter but uh here we are and while it's sitting in dig mode even though i've got this thing oh no it's not there's no warmth at all maybe it got warm while i was setting the endpoints because it took because you got to switch back and forth on the screen here and, you know find the endpoint for you know normal mode and then find the endpoint in dig mode so I probably got it hit, got it hot messing around there. It wasn't hot. I just the metal uh, casing just was. Uh, you could tell the difference in temperature between something that was not the servo. But yeah, the whole tranny's got to come out of that. That's that's not a rat digging around. That's Mama do, fixing dinner in the background. <laughs> she goes, "I'll be real quiet." And I said, "I'm pretty sure they know the." <laughs> Anyway, so I got, you know, a series of little miniature tap and die set, a drill set. I don't know where I did. This is part of it. These drills, drill bits. That actually came with this. I didn't even know that. This little kit that comes with the little handle and the little drills. And then the number bit set that I thought I had, and another one of those here. I got those. Ordered them late last night in a panic because realized I need bits and little holders because I thought I had a duplicate set here at home. Showed up today. Just bam, there you are. Gotta love that. That's some cool beans right there, man. I'll get it set up. I'll take the tranny out and that's uh, a little more involved than just setting up a servo. I guess I can shut this thing off now. I've uh, turned my red daddy go off. There we are. Well, hello there, YouTube. Believe it or not, we got about 15 minutes, maybe even more, before sunset. Look how dark it is out here. Of course. That camera's doing one heck of a job know, of compensating. It looks nice and bright, and this yeah. is dark. It's like the brightest thing out here is the camera. Yeah. That's nuts. It's got a light, light, light sprinkle. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully we don't have any crazy thunderstorms like we did last night. That was cool though. And this morning, that was really cool. Yeah, especially last <laughs> night because the skies is just crazy. It was yeah. dark and all the flashing and that so that oh excuse me, cloud lightning and stuff going on out there. That was cool. It's about me being a boy. Mm-hmm. Well, we got the that young gal's <laughs> spider all <clears throat> dialed in and she is the sweetest thing ever. Oh man. Oh man. So I, I go up there and sat down in the lounge area up there with her to, you know, tell her because she had several things she was asking about. And I was telling her what was going on. I don't think she even knew that it was actually the recall that was Causing. what her problem was yeah. at that point. But anyway, I was talking to her, and then Ryan, my son, shows up. He's visiting. I think he might have been getting some parts from Kelly or something like that. And he sat down because uh, Ryan and her know each other. He's she's he's done some work on her bike in the past, and um, or spider, and she is some kind of funny. Had us in stitches. She's cool. I've been there for a long cool. time. Very, very entertaining. Yeah. Super, super nice gal. She is so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I love it when you meet people like that. They're just I know. love for life and just happy yeah, and cheerful. Yeah, she's so and upbeat. And just, yeah, she is just the coolest lady. She was there. She was actually we followed her down fourth plane to the store and followed her in. We parked and did our little, you know, thing we do at the store every morning she gets up and she's like stand behind her spider she puts some stuff away and then she goes i missed it <laughs> i go you missed it she goes yeah i missed the little morning thing you guys do out in the car she probably would have snuck up and scared the crap out probably. of us <laughs> but yeah so she's jumping around here dad coming i missed it <laughs> but anyway that was a very fun yes. ending of the of the work day but mm -hmm. drive home was it's wet. It's safe. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. But uh, anyway, I don't even have a coat on, and it's like forty something out here. Yeah, it's are crazy. Which I have layers. now feels cold. Yes. But uh, wasn't it almost ninety the other day? I know. It How are we standing here in the rain? And freezing. Yeah. Crazy weather. Uh, but on that, we're gonna bounce. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. All right. See you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching.